Hello and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial brought to you by FusionExtreme.com. Today we're going to talk about adding eyelashes. When there's a gap or an area where you need to add eyelashes on an eye, we're going to show you how you can go about doing that. There's several ways to do it. I think this is a great one. Uh, a couple of things we want to do right off the bat here. We want to make sure that our foreground color is set to black. You can always click on this little icon right here uh, and the black will be in your foreground color. Don't worry about the background color. Um, and then we want to come up to our brush tool. You want to make sure brush is selected. Your brush size, you want to be sure, is set around 2, 3, somewhere right around there. I think 3 is good. And your hardness is set all the way up to the top. All the way to 100%. Okay, that's those are things you want to make sure right off the bat. You've got black and your foreground, as your foreground color and then that. Now we're going to come up over here to our layers palette. If you're not familiar with layers, please visit our basic layers uh, tutorial. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this little icon down here and create a new layer. It's a transparent layer you can see. Now I need to come over here and select the pen tool. The pen tool right here. And what you do is you select the point down here at the bottom of the eye and you click on it. And then you come up to an area right around where you, however long you want the eyelash to be. We're going to say right around, right around here. And then while still holding, don't let go, move this to the side just a little bit. And you see how it curves? It creates a curve in the eyelash. Now that's great. Now the only way that really works is if you have this little second box right here clicked, the paths box. You want to make sure that's clicked while you're doing this. Now once I'm at this point, I want to put my pen right on the tip of the line here and I want to right click, right click and I want to stroke path. Now I don't want pencil, I want brush selected. Remember we went through and chose the right size for the brush. You don't want simulate pressure. You want to click OK. Now what we've done here, we've selected our, uh, our eyelash here, we filled in here, but we still get this line here for the path that's in the way. How do we get rid of that? What we'll do is we'll come to view, show, target path. You can either hit um, shift control H or, or shift command H on a, on a Mac. You click that and away that goes. Now what you do at, at this point is you can come over here to your opacity and you can change it and bring it way down on this one to about 40% or so and you will see we're looking at a fairly realistic looking eyelash. Now I messed up the tip of it here and I'm gonna go ahead and erase that. I curved it just a tad bit. I'm gonna go ahead and just erase that tip. Okay, now what I can do, you can transform that. You can use your transform tools to, to transform it, rotate it, do whatever you want to do. We're going to go with that. And what I, what I want to do is I want to duplicate that layer. You can come back over here and duplicate that layer. Now you've got another one. And what you do is you bring it back in here. You don't want them to all look exactly the same. So what I'm going to do, again, I'm going to transform it. And I'm going to shrink that down, rotate it some. come up with a, a different feel to it. And what you can end up doing is that's a fairly realistic looking um, eyelash. Again, you've got your opacity here. You can always change the hue just a little bit if you want to. Or here maybe is, is a little more brown. You can add a little bit of color to it. You can do whatever you need just to make it blend just a little bit better. Whatever you need to do, you can do. Um, but that's a great way to add in. You can continue to add them in. Um, add another one here. Um, I want to rotate it so it doesn't look exactly the same. We'll make it smaller. But you see how we're filling in that gap here and no one will notice. You've just added some fake eyelashes. It's very simple. You can go ahead and keep working on that. Make it your own. You can also create different shapes, different styles, so you don't have to transform them all.
but you can add them in and make the eye look however you want. But that's a great way to add eyelashes in an area where you need to. I hope you've enjoyed this quick little, t this quick little tutorial brought to you by FusionExtreme.com.